Hello and welcome to another edition of Eat the Week. I'm your host Harry Fruity Guy and tonight I think I'm having my first Applebee's and it's a new burger. So it's called a whole lot of bacon burger. I think, so here's the bag, I think that I uh, ordered some mac and cheese with it, but I'm not sure. So I think you get fries and stuff anyway. So let's have a look and see what's in here. Oh, it's heavy. That's a beast. Right, I'll leave that wrapped up because I have actually got some beer ordered as well. So, yeah, I did. I ordered pimped mac and cheese. That might be breakfast, but who knows? So, and this one comes with fries, lots of ketchup, um, all that sort of stuff. Well, right, anyway, let me go outside and see if the Uber driver with my Corona Familiar is there. And I hope they've got it right because they said something about a replacement if they didn't. But I really like Corona Familiar. Don't really like much else. Well, apart from the dirty PBRs and the Miller High Life. <laughs> Be back in a sec. So this is a, a day of first for me. I've, had, I've just had my first beer delivered from Uber Eats. It's not freezing cold, but it's not warm. So I'm gonna get some of these in the fridge. This is one of my favorite beers, by the way. I, I can't stand it when you go back to England and you drink ugh, like carling and crap like that. It's like, this is Corona Familiar, it's Mexican beer, and it's just beautiful. It's uh, it's like an amber beer, so it's like darker than another beer. And this is a fat boy, this is a 32 ounce. So, And you know what? I got three of those delivered for like $17, including a tip. And that's like, what, 14 quid? But well, there's two pints in each one. So so I've got six pints because I've got three bottles. And there's just something about, there's something satisfying about holding a beer of this size. So, right, so let me put these in the fridge and get to the burger, which is a, a brand new burger. So I'm reviewing a brand new burger from a chain, Applebee's, that I've never eaten from before. So it's double exciting. I would like to claim that this is brand new, but it's not. I've been drinking it for years. I love it. All right, so let's do the reveal. This is Applebee's new bacon burger. A whole lot of bacon. Little, the fries are a little bit cold, but they're tasty. Hmm. Better eat them first. So. That's what it looks like. Mmm, this fries are good. I like skin on fries. Mmm, 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 Right. So this burger is called, I think, a whole lot of bacon. So this is their new burger. And I've never had Applebee's, so it's got like... Let's have a look underneath. Oh, yeah, look. Nice crispy bacon, nice bit of cheese. Got tomato underneath there, big slice of beef tomato. Big slice of what looks like iceberg. Not a fan of iceberg, but it's whatever. Oh, and a bit of red onion that, which fed out my burger. Got to have that. It's good for the blood. Right, let's get into this. I did ask for it well done as well. Because I did have a burger the other day and it was completely and utterly pink. Which didn't kill me. It's just like, I don't know. Being British, you don't expect to have pink burgers, do you? But like, I know that's how Americans eat them, but this smells amazing. Mmm. I asked for extra pickles, but it ain't none. And it even says it on the thing there. Extra pickles. So, that's a shame. But, that means I'm reviewing it as it's meant to be. It's actually a really good burger. I don't know how Applebee's stands. Like on the whole, I'm just checking for pickles in the bag. <laughs> There's nothing in the bag. I don't know how Applebee's stands on, you know, in in the ranking of burgers. 
This is pretty damn tasty. Tastes homemade. The meat's really good quality. Mm. I did order extra bacon as well. And that's what I was looking at. That didn't look like extra bacon. So I will write to Uber Eats and say that I think I just got a standard one because I didn't get the pickles and there's no way there was extra bacon in there. And when you look at the picture, it's absolutely stacked with bacon already. If you look at that there, three second more. That just looks like kind of standard bacon that you get in a bacon burger. And on the marketing pictures, it's huge. But I can't really complain about the taste because it's a really good burger. I just got the order, order wrong. Mm. So, it's turning into a mukbang. I didn't realise how hungry I was. So, I should review it really. <laughs> but maybe you can tell from the fact that I can't stop eating it. How bloody good it is. So, let's get me a serviette. So the only thing I can compare it to is the is the McBaconator that I had the other day. And that was actually a really, really good burger. So, but, this one's quite up there with it. I'm just getting, I'm just going to try some of the mac and cheese. So, well, I've ordered it, might as well. This is the loaded mac and cheese. And it was only like four, $4, I think. So. I can't believe I'm a mac and cheese fan. I grew up hating it. And now I kind of like it. This looks like a white cheese. Oh, that's very really good. Oh, yeah. I suppose your taste buds change, don't they? As you get older, maybe. Mm. That's absolutely delicious, actually. It doesn't taste like the fake cheese that you sometimes get with American mac and cheese. It tastes really subtle. It's really nice. And the texture is really good as well. I'm going to give this a 10 then, mac and cheese. That's banging. And I'll tell you what, to be fair, even though they messed up my order, that burger's worth a 10. It's really good. Yeah, I wanted extra pickles and extra bacon. So I'll see if I can get some money back off that because I think the extra bacon was like another $3.19 or something. And there's no way there was extra bacon on that. Mm. Chips are good, but I actually expect to move it sometimes. They're a little on the cold side. So they're lukewarm at best. But they're tasty, they're really good. These are the best takeout fries that I've had. I just wish they were a little bit crisper and warmer. So I've only got a microwave in this um hotel room. So who wants microwave chips? No one really. So, my review of the new burger from Applebee's and my review of Applebee's is this burger, burger is a worthy addition to their uh, menu. So, it's got fresh veggies in it. The beef is absolutely banging. Right. Mm. Lovely little crispy bits of bacon. Could have done with a bit more red onion. But I'm still going to give it a 10. They cooked it perfectly, look. So, you know, no pink. It's just a really damn good burger. So the brioche bun is slightly sweet. But 
the best of the ingredients, are so damn good. The man. This is one of the best burgers I've had here. And it's not so ridiculously big that you can't get your mouth around it, you know? Because I have had some big burgers that you just like, you have to eat with a knife and fork because you just can't get them in. So yeah, this is a 10. Mmm. A success from my first Applebee's. And now I've got mac and cheese for breakfast. Yeah. Or a midnight snack. So, thanks for watching. I've got a few more days left in the States. And then I'm off somewhere else. With much healthier food. So, keep watching the channel. And if you got this far, um, and you don't subscribe, I would really, really um, appreciate one. Because the, the channel's growing every time I go somewhere different and try different food. Um, I, I seem to be picking up more and more subscribers and I really I appreciate all that. So drop the video a like, try Applebee's if you haven't tried it because it's banging. And if you're American and you haven't tried the new Applebee's bacon burger, try it. But make sure that they actually do <laughs> like make your burger right. <laughs> Because they, they didn't make this one right, but it was still banging. Right, I'm going to get this rest of this in my face. And then I'm going to drink myself a Corona for me. Oh. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye. Mm, yummy.